Well, Kieran, last night in the uh, Leasing.com trophy was a good opportunity for the manager to sort of give a few debuts, but he actually made three debuts in total. You had three academy graduates who started the game. That must be a very proud moment for you as academy manager. It's a very, very proud moment for, for me, but it's a very proud moment for everybody that's been involved with them. I mean, these lads have been at the club a long time, some of these lads. Like Sam Cartwright, I think, was under 13 when he joined. Um, You've got Carl, I think, was under 13 or 14 when he joined. And then you look at the lads on the bench. Ricky coming off off the bench was here from under nine. Archie the same, Luke Harris, Flynn. They've all been here years and years. So There's so many people that have been involved in their development. And it's really important to, to recognise that. Uh, Ricky J. Jones obviously came on at the age. I think he's still 16, isn't he, still. Ricky? So, Which is in incredible when you consider well, his physique, first and foremost. But also what he did when he came on. No fear at all. No, he's got that sort of character about him, Ricky. You know, he's he's a really energetic, bubbly character, um, and and deals with those situations not a problem. He trained last week with the first team for for the whole week, um, and just and fitted into the into the uh, their group really well. Um, so it won't phase him, and he, he he loves his football. He loves his football. Loves doing what he's doing, and that shows. Do you think Harrison, I know Harrison hasn't made too many appearances, but obviously has been sort of in and around the squad in terms of the 18 so far this season. Do you think that might have been a help to people like Kyle, who was making his debut, and obviously Sam, who's been out on loan, but that was the first taste of first-team action here? Yeah, it would help. It would help. And I think the biggest thing that helps is the environment and the culture we've got every day, to be honest with you. So Kyle, Sam and the younger players, they're around the first team all the time. You know, you've got, you've got a first-team manager and his staff who know all the youth team by, by name. Um, which is which is great. So they they, they feel comfortable. There's a degree of feeling comfortable around it, um, which is really really important. So it's more around that. It's more around the culture of, of this place and, and the importance we place in development every single day. Yeah. And the, the competition obviously is, is a competition that does allow managers to tweak a little bit and a bit of room for improvement. As academy manager, I'm guessing you're a fan of this competition because it does allow that kind of flexibility with team selection. Massively so. Yeah, it's something that that the manager's done with himself as academy manager um, over a number of years within this competition and he, and he does look at it that way but it, he will only use the youngsters if he thinks they're good enough um, and so he's shown a lot of trust and a lot of faith in them which is which is great um, great recognition for them and, and for their efforts um, but yeah it, it's a good competition just to get them in into that environment show them what that environment's all about uh, and to continue their learning those that obviously were on the pitch last night, people might have got a bit more of an understanding of those players. Those that were unused substitutes last night, do you want to just give a, a bit of a shout out to them in terms of their development and how they've progressed? Because obviously, as I say, people might see the names but not necessarily recognise a little bit about them. Absolutely. Obviously, like you said, you know, Rick, is, Rick has come on the pitch. Um, you know, and I think there's a, there's a good awareness around Ricky, to be fair. You then got Archie Jones, who's a youth team captain, who's a second year scholar. Um, another great character, been at the club since he was under nine. So, been on a long journey with the club and he's developing very well. Uh, you've got Kaya, big Kaya, Rudek Gregory, who is centre half, he's his second year. Um, he's played a couple of 23s games recently and, and put in some good performances. So, he deserved his opportunity last night. And then you've got Luke Harris, midfield player of first year, so he's got another 16 year old. Um, Again, he played in the 23s last week, came off the bench for the 23s. Um, an excellent start to the season, Luke. Uh, Flynn Clark, who's been on the bench in, in the previous round at Northampton, another 16-year-old. Um, and then Benjamin Mensah, who uh, was signed after being released by another club last year. Um, again, another 16-year-old on the bench who's played a couple of 23s games. You know, So you look at the average age of the squad, I'm, without, my maths isn't great, but um, you know, you, it must be young. You know, we've got a number of 16-year-olds there. Um, and again, the, the faith that the first team staff and the manager are showing in, in those young players is brilliant. And those that make that journey from nines all the way through to making their first team debut, I, I guess they, they're obviously very proud of, to, to do all that journey, but it's very hard to do that, isn't it, in the modern, modern age to go all the way through. So to have so many of them that started at the beginning and, and are coming out the other end must be so pleasing. It is really pleasing because, you, you know, when you work with youngs, it's, it's long term. The development is long term and you have to have that focus long term. It's, it's, you know, you don't turn it around in a, in a matter of games and weeks. It's, it's long term development it has to be our focus. And that has been the focus at the club for, for a long time. So the likes of Archie, Flynn, Ricky. Luke, you know, they've been here a long, long time. You know, Sam Cartwright's been here a number of years now, so has Kyle. So Harrison, another one come through from under nines. So that focus has been there and that's really, really important. And it shows that, you know, the, the efforts and the investment of, of a lot of people, you know, obviously the staff and the parents, you never forget the parents, the amount of time and the, the cost to the parents of 
traveling all over the country and um, not just once a week but sort of three four five times a week you know so, so many people have put so much time in they will feel, you know, rightly feel very proud of what they've achieved and of course they're doing it in the league as well because as we sit here at this moment in time they're, they're, they're top of their league they're progressed in the uh, in the cup competition as well and, and it's nice that the results are being matched with individual performances and development yeah we'll always look at the performances um, first and foremost uh, and, and the progress they're making individually and collectively um, but Naturally, if the performances are at the right level and they're making the right level of progress, that will reflect in the results. And I don't care how old they are, they want to win games, you know. So, um, and that creates confidence and creates a buzz around the place. Obviously, the first team going well as well. There's a real buzz, and, and that environment it can only help their learning. So, I think that's really important.